In the words of Mr. Hand. What are you people? On dope? One, two, all right. Welcome fellow KISS fans. Welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a KISS fan. Tonight, celebrating probably the oddest, weirdest, dog butt, KISS magazine I have ever seen in my entire life. I, I was actually going to film this vlog a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, but Gene Simmons got COVID and I thought the title and the subject matter of this vlog would not be appropriate at that time, but since Gene Simmons has recovered from said COVID and is alive and well and touring, let's talk. The most bizarre Kiss magazine you have ever seen in your natural born life. And this is it, the September 1978 punk rock Kiss special, Gene Simmons is dead, which of course is a joke, magazine but it's kind of fun to imagine an eight-year-old kid in 1978 being terrified and confused all at the same time about this magazine and the fact that gene simmons may be dead the band is looking for a clone to replace him and it could be you it could be you now i'm not going to dive into every story here in the magazine in case you out there want to add this to your collection someday leave an element of surprise for you. But there are about four pages I do want to cover before we do a flip through. And the first page I absolutely love. It's just so in your face nostalgic 1978 fun and it is this the pendant ad. So much fun with that giant finger pointing to you when they want you to wear the logo pendant necklace. Gold or silver, $4.95. Take a child from 1978 and show them the prices on eBay now. This ad is so cool. This is one of those items. I almost wish I had double of this magazine because this ad would totally be framed. There's just cool ads all throughout this magazine poster riot ad featuring the glitter group shot. Item number two on our talk about review is this story. The startling truth behind Gene Simmons' death controversy. All the facts revealed. This is a story of Gene Simmons, Bill O'Coin, a scientist, a briefcase full of money, a cloned baby Gene Simmons that speaks like an adult and smokes a cigar, and a character called Dr. Dark. This is the strangest Kiss magazine you will ever add to your collection. Item number three, again, super cool 70s ads. This is Star Wars and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Everything from iron-ons to posters to jewelry. And I do believe I had the C-3PO and R2-D2 necklaces when I was little. But this is just pure 70s fun. And there you go. Gene Simmons and Baby Clone. And finally, the last item I want to cover for this magazine, this very cool, fun, proof positive Gene Simmons was cloned. These are the clues to prove it. I guess they say in the Rock and Roll Over album cover, note the tongue of death coming from Gene. I will never look at that tongue the same way ever again. On the Dress to Kill album cover, Gene Simmons is wearing a gray suit while everyone else is wearing black. This signifies Gene's difference than every other member of the band and also signifies his rebirth. Keep in mind, I'm not saying this stuff. This comes from this magazine. In the article, it states that a comic book was printed in Gene Simmons' blood because a dead man doesn't need blood but we know we purist no it's not the comic book that has gene simmons blood it's good old big bird only after gene simmons discovered he had a terminal illness he was inspired to write the album hotter than hell what are you people on dope 
The spikes on Gene Simmons' boots were designed to symbolize impalement, which means getting spiked from one side of your body straight through to the other side. Ouch, that can make you very dead. You gotta love how this magazine is written to inspire playground rumors about the band. This is a photo of the new Gene Simmons with Lynn Goldsmith. So there you go. I had no idea looking at the Lynn Goldsmith book, I was looking at the new Gene Simmons. You learn something new every day. Note the death head above Gene Simmons. And great, the Alive 2 tattoos. I'm never going to look at you the same way ever again. I'm not joking when I say this. This magazine actually says this little person to the left of Peter Chris is a rapidly growing 15-year-old clone of Gene Simmons. This is the test model that the cloning professor was sent to make the cast of Gene Simmons. And as you can see here, the clone Gene Simmons is exactly like the Gene Simmons we know and love. And not to mention the back cover. Those amazing motorcycle posters, which I love my friend Todd said in 1983 were at the Worlds of Fun ring toss game. I believe he won Paul and his cousin won Gene. Kind of cool to think in 1983 an amusement park had an abundance of these posters to give away for 50 cents a pop. Now let's take a flip through this amazing magazine. Some very cool pictures, some great ads, and some great stories. with us tonight thank you for waxing the little rock and roll nostalgia with us be good to your babies spay neuter microchip take care be safe we oh my goodness <laughs> hey we will talk to you soon you done And celebrating the fun of being <laughs> being being a, you almost got to see a Bob Ross right there <laughs>